Hi Pisces, this is your February monthly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this monthly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end, we'll see what's recommended for you for the whole month of February. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first bit is a new love in February. We have the Four of Swords clarified by the world, we have the Ace of Swords uh, clarified by the King of Wands, then we have the Moon. In the potential outcome we have the Two of Cups with the Sun and the Nine of Cups, and we also have the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Yeah, I usually go with a King or a Queen or both if one or both show up. So we got this King of Wands clarifying the Ace of Swords. The King of Wands could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. Or they are embracing the energy of the King of Wands. Somebody who is, I guess, finally is uh, easy to get up and go. Somebody who is finally passionate. Somebody who is finally acting. Right? And I'm saying finally for a reason because we actually start off with the Four of Swords. Um, the Four of Swords is a complete opposite from somebody who is active. <laughs> the Four of Swords, perhaps this person is didn't think of you as a love interest in the beginning perhaps the two of you are going to get acquainted introduced or you already got acquainted introduced and they're like oh, perhaps they've got other things going or with the four of swords they could be thinking and formulating a strategy right and um, for whatever reason they may think that they need to think it through so they don't screw it up okay so the four of swords this is them you know, thinking about this, um, thinking about what would be the best way to uh, make a move to approach you so you don't reject them. Whatever the case, whatever that Four of Swords is in this situation, it's coming to an end, right? Uh, the Four of Swords is classified by the world. The world, by the way, could be someplace remote. Perhaps this person is at a distance from you or they had to go on a business trip or attend to their extended family, what have you. But the world is my happy end card. Right? That's what's coming to an end, the Four of Swords. The, with the World card, one chapter of your life comes to an end, and the new happy chapter of your life is about to begin. So here comes action. Right next to the uh, Four of Swords, we have that Ace of Swords that the King of Wands is clarifying. The Ace of Swords is a very decisive energy. The Ace of Swords is the Ace of Clarity. With the Ace of Swords, they're going to talk to you, and uh, they're going to be very straightforward, very honest with you. Whatever this person says is the truth, by the way. The Ace of Swords is the Ace of Truth. Right? And uh, with the Ace of Swords, they're not going to be beating around the bush. They're not going to be pl playing or fooling around. They're going to be as straightforward with you, as forthcoming with you, as honest with you as possible. So now this person really wants you, <laughs> or perhaps they always wanted you, they just needed to formulate that strategy, and um, that's pretty much it, right? The three of wands on the bottom of the deck, I think that three of wands belongs to the king of wands, same energy as the ace of swords. With the three of wands, this is somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and after that there is no turning back. Right, so that three of wands and the ace of swords come after the four of swords. We have you, the moon, in the middle, right there. That is your major arcana card, uh, Pisces. And it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. If you ask me, always says that means you're the one in charge. You're, you're the one calling the shots. Perhaps this person thought that uh, you are out of their league or you would not consider them. But they're, they're still making a move. You know, they're still going to shoot their shot with you. And uh, in the potential outcome, we have uh, the Two of Cups with the Sun and the Nine of Cups. The potential looks, the, the future looks bright, literally. <laughs> the Sun in the middle. Uh, if this King of Wands is a Leo or they have Leo in their chart, that makes total sense because the Sun is a Leo card. But at the same time, it's the happiest card in the deck, right? Uh, with the Sun card... We always feel on top of the world, we always, feel, we always feel loved, we always feel joyful and happy. And the Two of Cups to the left from the Sun, there's two people in the Two of Cups. That's you and this King of Wands, right? The Two of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of unconditional love, it's a card of when two people are feeling the same way towards one another. The Nine of Cups right next to the deck is a card of a wish come true and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. So yeah, whatever this person, whatever is going on inside this person's head in the beginning, right? Um, again, like I said, for some of you, this is them just thinking about the best way to make a move. For others of you, perhaps they're busy 
with something else. They could be away. And uh, at some point in February, they will finally make that uh, very decisive, very straightforward uh, move towards you. And, um, you know, happiness is definitely uh, in your future. The, the sun is the... The sun is um, a major arcana card, right? So, whenever the moon and the sun cards come out in the same spread, I always point that out. Granted, the moon is your major arcana card, Pisces, right? But at the same time, some of you may already know the same card would be interpreted in multiple ways, in the, even in the same spread. The moon and the sun sometimes are interpreted as yin and yang, right? So, that's you and them. And the... Uh, if you Google this in Yang picture, you will see that they're kind of intertwined together. So I think that's a really good sign. All right. So yeah, <laughs> really happy for you, Pisces. <laughs> Congratulations, Pisces. If you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do a couple of more spreads, maybe three spreads. We'll see how it plays out. Well. Definitely take a look at what to expect between you and this person moving forward and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Pisces, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship that's spread is for you. We have the Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, clarified by the Queen of Cups. Um, we have the Star and we also have the Moon on the bottom of the deck. I can interpret the spread two different ways. For some of you, you guys will join the gym together. <laughs> for others of you, you will both of you will kick uh, some kind of a bad habit, like smoking or whatever, or overindulging on food. Okay, for others of you, you're gonna, it could be like a sober February for you, or a sober couple of weeks, right? I'm not calling you an alcoholic, but you know, clean, perhaps it's cleansing time, right? Um, yeah, that, I'm, t I'm looking at this, and that's, and I see that Four of Cups, right? The Four of Cups is classified by the Queen of Cups, you're the Queen of Cups, and a Four of Cups is a card of rejection. This is a card of somebody who says no to something, right? And uh, the Three of Cups, the first card I came out, you see what people are doing in the Three of Cups? They're cheering, right? So you're gonna stop this in February. Perhaps you had a lot of fun, a lot of fun with your friends and, or a lot of fun with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other in December, in January, and now it's time to, uh, you know, kind of cool it, <laughs> slow down, right? Yeah, for some of you going on a diet, go, uh, joining the gym, uh, sober February, sober a couple of weeks. For other, that's one of the scenarios, right? But for others of you, somebody could come towards you, and uh, they may make you a very inappropriate offer. Okay, the Three of Cups could be a third-party situation. I don't know if this person is aware of the fact that that you're already married or you, if you're already in a relationship, but uh, they're not gonna care. Neither will you. You're you're rejecting that, right? You're not giving this person a chance because you're happy in your marriage, you're happy in your relationship. Okay? The star right next to the deck, for some of you it could be a card of healing, right? And it's healing in terms of cleansing time, right? <laughs> Joining the gym. You're gonna some of you're gonna stop smoking if you're a smoker. Some of you're gonna, you know, throw something out of your diet and stop eating something. Right? Uh, and uh, for others of you, the star is a card of a wish come true. Perhaps you always wanted to do something. And that will require for you to stop doing something. All right? The moon on the bottom of the deck is your major arcana card, uh, Pisces. All right? I hope that makes sense, <laughs> Pisces. I hope it makes sense. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces, in February. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have uh, the Devil, clarified by, clarified by the Page of Cups. We also have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or any Zodiac sign. This person's got issues, literally. They literally have issues. Pisces, okay, uh, and um, for example, if they are a gambler or if they had an issue with uh, consuming, drinking, whatever else they had an issue with, they may come back and tell you they took care of it, but they're, I think they're lying to you. They still have whatever that issue was, okay, it's still there. For others of you, um, this is still, I don't see you getting back together. As a matter of fact, this kind of reminds me of my B-Rare readings. 
Pisces that I do once a month, right? So beware of this person. Whatever their zodiac sign is, Capricorn or any other <laughs> 11 zodiac signs. Right, the Seven of Swords right next to the deck, clarifying the Six of Cups. This is a card of a deception. It's a card of somebody who is up to no good, somebody who sneaks around, somebody who is a liar, cheater, all that jazz. Right, the Six of Cups is a card of somebody coming back from the past. The Page of Cups, clarifying the devil. You know, this is them reaching out to you, apologizing to you, asking you out, wanting to catch up with you, wanting to get to grab a beverage with you. But uh, uh, no. The seven oh ones on the bottom of the deck. I think this is the the most important card in this uh, spread right here. I think this is you uh, standing your ground, not allowing this person to fool you again, to lure you back into this predicament that you will la later regret. So yeah, be careful of this person. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Pisces. Um, in February, we have the Tail Ones, the Seven of Cups, clarifying it. Then we have the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and uh, the Moon on the bottom of the deck. The Moon is your major arcana card, and I think that it showed up in, if not in all readings, but in many readings, right? So that, that's a good sign. Your own major arcana card in your own reading is a really good sign, Pisces. And I see you choosing something here in February, right? And once you've uh, decided on the, on the direction or on one of the options, then you'll make a very decisive move, right? The two of ones clarified by the Seven of Cups all the way to your left. Both of those two cards are talking about the same thing, right? You're choosing, you're looking at your options, you're trying to understand, trying to decide what you want to do, you're choosing between one job or another new job, or investment opportunities, or what have you, right? Once you've figured it out, you will make a move with the Knight of Swords. For some of you, it may require for you to travel somewhere, to go somewhere, because the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights, so for some of you, this is just you jumping on it, or literally going somewhere, okay? Even attacking, <laughs> right? And uh, the Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of real estate or it's a card of uh, financial abundance. Okay, for some of you perhaps it's not about the job. Perhaps you're looking for a house or an apartment, right? And once you've zeroed in on one, then you'll make a, a very decisive move to secure that particular place. To call the dibs on it. <laughs> to bid on it. For others of you, it's just all about uh, making that uh, money with the Ten of Pentacles. Alright, so yeah, the, the Ten of Pentacles is a great card, right? It is a card of a uh, pile of cash or a card of real estate. Perhaps you're a real estate agent, I don't know. <laughs> right? Um, at the end, you will have uh, your cake and eat it too. <laughs> Alright? Cool. Here's the advice or a word of wisdom for you, Pisces, for the whole month of February. We have the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords. Both of you are clarified by Temperance. Then we have the Three of Cups and the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or a Sagittarius. You're the King of Cups here, unless you're dealing with another couple, right? Uh, because... Uh, the King of Cups is a water sign indicator. You're a water sign, Pisces, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or, like I, like I just said, the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords could be a couple. But for most of you, you're the King of Cups. As I was clarifying both of you, I simply asked what Pisces needs to do here. And Temperance showed up. Temperance could be a Sagittarius here, you know, but Temperance is a card of healing, bearing the hatchet, and uh, reconciling. Right? And I think that's what the advice is all about for you to reconcile with this Queen of Swords. All right, the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold, feeling miserable, feeling sad, and that's what's happening between the two of you right now. I don't know how you are associated with this person. Pisces, it could be your ex for some of you, perhaps for another group of you it's your relative, a friend, somebody you used to work with, what have you. The Three of Cups right next to the deck is a card of a reunion. It's also a card of a celebration. So if this Queen of Swords is an Aquarius, it's Aquarius birthday season in the first um, half of February, right? So perhaps this is the, an advice for you to wish him a happy birthday, and perhaps that's how the two of you could uh, get re get reconnected. But overall, yeah, the advice for you is to bury the hatchet, reunite, reconnect with this Queen of Swords. That's what it feels like. 
must be a very important person. <laughs> All right, Pisces, so that's what I have for you for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing February.